So I'm making a little reminder video of how to make a brush quick and easy. Um, basically, I'm going to store this for my own memory. If you find it useful, cool. All right, so you want to make a brush. Now I've doodled this little thingy up here. You can do it yourself. Uh, I just used a tapered inker and just drew a bunch of little bib, 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 bib like this, right? But I'm not going to use that one. I will use this one that I drew previously. What you do is you get your selection tool and I'm going to use a rectangular selection and I will draw a box around it. Adjust it to fit. You're like, okay, I'm happy with that. And now look down here. It says brush. You just tap that. And bam, there's your brush. Here's the brush head, it is right there. Make sure you give it a name. I'll just call it spackle. I don't know why, but it looks like a spackle to me. <laughs> okay. And it's a pencil. There are all the options. I just leave it as a pencil. And you go create. Boom, that's it. It's done. Your brush is created, your spackle brush. Uh, let me move these video controls out of the way. All right, now this opens up your uh, brush editor panel. Down at the bottom, you have the different tabs, right? You have, right now we're on the stroke tab, and here's your window of all the settings you can change. Then you have your head tab, and it changes to accommodate all the selections on the head tab. You have your texture tab. If you want to add a texture, you, you can select the image uh, and add a texture to it. But this brush is already pretty textured, so why? <laughs> then you have your paint tab where you can add different uh, tools or different effects to the brush. You have mix where it will mix with the other colors that are previously laid down. You can how how much dilution of the mix but for now we'll focus on the head and let's see so right now here's the visual of what it looks like we can make our size let's see that would be on the stroke we make our size and there's a size range here if you want to make it available to be a big brush Increase this. So we'll put it at 150. Now look at when you're at 29 size. That's how big it is. Lower it down. You get the idea. Now your smoothness is once is how smooth it makes it. Kind of, it's a no-brainer really. But you'll have to tinker around with these things for a while. Now down here you have your size. Right now it's a pressure sensitive brush. The lighter you press, the thinner the line. But you see right here, if you have a heavy hand, this is the curve you want. If you have a light touch, you would let it float up. Sink if it's heavy, float if, it's, if you're light. I'm a heavy handed person, so I'll go like that. Now I have to really press hard to make it go fat. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't care about having the tilt. So we're good there. Um, also, what was I going to say about the head? Here's the head. Right now, it's just a bunch of stamps of that image crammed together. If you increase the spacing, there you go. Now it's an individual stamp. If you put them together, it becomes just a line. You good? I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Have fun. Uh, also, now you want to save what you the changes you've made. Now you've edited the brush and you got the brush you want. You would hit the check mark. Now, here you go. Now, if you are using the brush and you want to edit it, and you come down here and you make some changes, say for example, you don't want it to be pressure sensitive anymore. 
for whatever project you're working on. You just want it fat all the time. Um, you can do that, check mark, and now it's fat. But if you were, you made some changes, a bunch of changes, and you were like, Ugh, I hate the way it is now, I wish it went back the way it was, just close it with the X and it won't save any changes. I think you have all you need to know to have fun with the brushes.